Hello, and we're back. It is uh, 2024 now, and we are in the Avalanche Cup. This is your host, Beachamp, and with me I have Marmalad. We're going to be doing a uh, little bit of a, I guess, a commentary of the first games of the tournament. So, um, yeah, Marmy, do you have any? Do you have any words? Yeah, well, I'm very excited about this because last major tournament, or well, tournament in general, was like a year and a half ago. It was uh, Twitter Crash 3, if I recall correctly. And uh, so I'm really hyped. I hope that you do also. And uh, do, do you mind sharing your screen with me? Oh my gosh, I do need to share my screen. <laughs> yep. Oh, there we go. Okay, going live. All right, just just rusty things. All right, so here we are, at Depario. This is going to be the first game, and uh, Marmy, who do we have playing in this game? We need to uh, take Chihuahua the and his brother against the Black Tigers. All right, brothers Black Tigers against the brothers. Left side. Yeah, very interesting matchup. And so, uh, as we see here, Black. Tiger one, is it one? Your Black Tiger three. Like, your camera is on. Three and yeah. like goes for a fast lightning rod. Oh, they they will actually. Mm -hmm. Uh so I guess I guess they're gonna be playing the fast game. Uh look like fast level two, uh into fast units to like disturb economy. Yeah, and yeah, I guess what do we know about goes. Chihuahua and his brother? I, I think these two are going to be new for the YouTube scene. So for anyone who's been watching and following us on YouTube, who who were Chihuahua? Who is the brother? Uh, give give us some background, Marmy, on these players. Are they, uh, are they so, newer to the scene? Uh, are they have they been around? Uh, so I don't really know uh, much about his brother, but I know a lot of about really Chihuahua. For, for instance, uh, he really liked at some point to do like a massive suicide squad of the flyers like level two or three and like go e-burst and like kill all of your economy or all of your army mm. looks like his brother and him are both doing a similar strategy taking out their henchmen early trickling them into mid and grabbing this contested coal pile well yeah i guess <laughs> The faster you get it, the easier to be, to fortify here. So, guess what they are doing now? Uh, level two gets researched by who? Black tigers. Uh, it looks Black like tigers. So, so but they, they haven't like uh, built a creature chamber yet. No, not quite but yet. But Chihuahua did. Chihuahua did, and he started to pumping out units, and they actually go somewhere. Oh, look at them, skunks. Wow, Stink uh, Cloud, you I got guess. Keen Sense, you got Digging. Oh, and then we got a loner. Oh, look at this loner. Look how fast it is. What is this guy? Lone per but to... quick. I it's overpopulation. It <laughs> it's <laughs> Okay, so it's a, oh, it's a yeah. lemming panther. And so these guys are pretty funny because loners take longer to build and then of course overpopulation they build much faster to so actually kind of negate the the effects it looks like we have an attack chihuahua coming on black tiger three and then we also have uh chihuahua's brother alvarilo oh I, i'm gonna butcher that name uh alvin on the black tiger one but it looks like black tiger one has got this with the more powerful units uh, Black Tiger 3, however, is not doing too well against these. But I guess he pulled oh, two towers. Yeah. It, it's more than enough to hold it back. Well, I, I want to make. Large I, I wanted to make a little prediction about these uh, eagles and skunks because they just gotta dig into the pole uh, line and to stink, uh, slowing down all the movement of henchmen. But now. Since there are actually some sound beam towers, it would be uh, really, really hard to do. Yeah, I these sound beam towers are going to take it. out the keen sense for sure. It's take out the digging uh, aspect for sure. But so it looks like uh, Chihuahua's doing pretty good right now. And 
We also see a loner coming in. Level three loner, actually. Yeah, okay. wow. Octopus-sized Black Widow. Quick. Yeah, he's not doing too well. Oh, he did get one web throw off, which is pretty cool. Um, oh. These henchmen are coming over to try to build this workshop over here, but it's been spotted by Chihuahua. And in the meantime, oh, this is looking pretty good. I, you know, I would have said the Black Tigers are favored in this matchup because of their long-standing experience in the game and historically, uh, I mean, being a finalist or winning tournaments. But it looks like they're definitely on their back foot right now against uh, Chihuahua and his brother. Well, actually, Black Tiger 1 has managed to pump out some of the level 3 units and I guess he's gonna defend just fine. Yeah, he, I mean, all of these units need to come in right now and attack. See, a lot of them are just sitting idle, which is not uh, definitely not good. Oh, but now the loner's coming out, the loner melee, and this, if Black Tiger micros his loner correctly, which he's not, that, that would have been a big oh, help. Uh, all these caterpillars have, like, the double range attack. I guess they do. Oh, they actually do. Oh, yeah. This oh, my gosh. Fish. That is beautiful. I I forgot about double range. Double range is amazing. Very non-traditional, but I'm, I'm a fan of double range. Actually, like, uh, they, they aren't really overpriced because they, on themselves, cost really, really... The cost is really, really low on them themselves. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I guess uh, really interesting what they're gonna. Well, looks like Black do. Tigers are but, doing a great uh, job of expanding. Of two, you can you can see here Black yeah. Tiger has two, setting up three workshops where uh, we only got one expansion coming out from uh, Alvarillo here. Uh, are, are they fully saturated yet? Uh, or they they're aren't? looking pretty good. These these workshops by Black Tiger, not quite fully saturated okay, so there, but Abarillo is getting the most of it. Yeah. So it is. It's looking pretty good for Black Tiger one, but Chihuahua definitely holding his own against Black Tiger three. Black Tiger three not really able to take this forward outpost. Well, he's making another attempt. Well, yes. Uh, from my perspective uh, as a player, <laughs> uh, I I've played Chihuahua many, many times, and well, I can say that he, uh, I could have seen his growth uh, in this game, and I can say at this point, he is actually on the level with Black Tigers in terms of micro and macro. Wow. Uh, and. What we're seeing here is he actually pushing back and not really getting uh, not really getting behind in the economy. Of course, he didn't uh, take the expo that it is near his uh, laboratory, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, actually, oh, he he did all the add-ons for the generator, so didn't build this generator he either. So, really... so a little bit oh, behind. He did not. Yeah, so that's yeah, his he, home generator. He's a little bit of so, if this game's gonna last but longer, he does have more the upgrade. More gonna get behind. He has henchman yoke. Black Tiger three does not, which is huge. That makes a big, big difference in terms of economy resources. So, uh, I guess uh, what we're really seeing is like the bottom half of the map is getting owned this is a by great Chihuahua. Back and forth, yeah. Uh, but like the. The top side is getting really, really, uh, like, contested by the two players. Yes, it definitely is. And but, oh, this really... loner over here, this is an amazing loner attack, took out so many of the henchmen at Abarillo's base. Wow, that's a, these loners are really sneaky. They, they can very easily sneak behind enemy lines and, and take a lot. And on a map like this, I love this map. This is an LB Frank custom map pack, by the way. But, um, oh, wait, does this actually get put into Tellurian? Uh but uh, I guess it did. Yeah, but this uh, this is a, a beautiful map. You can have little expos like this where you can sneak henchmen back behind, kind of behind enemy lines if you your opponent fails to take it. Oh, it looks like a big push coming here by Black Tiger three. Also, it had a little update recently, hadn't it? 
I don't really remember. Yes, there was but a little guess, update. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Black Tiger 3 has successfully uh, somewhat pushed out the the mining from the center, but they're going back. Uh, what for? I don't really know. And Chihuahua is trying to rebuild, but uh, his forces aren't enough just yet. And yeah, it looks Black like Tiger... Black Tiger's really just taken, uh, now that he has Henchman Yoke, then he's really been able to take the take the lead with the combat here. Also fully saturated mm -hmm. two expansions. Yeah, it's really just coming. So, it seems like it's a, it's just the fine macro that uh, in, in the experienced macro that both the Black Tiger players have that's allowing them to push through in this game. Uh, the fact that Chihuahua still hasn't taken this expo here, has only recently just taken this generator here, uh, has really hurt him long term. Uh, even though he had a really, really strong start, if he would have just kept up his hench production and kept up uh, his macro, that I think he would be on a leading foot here. Also, his both uh, middle generators got taken out. Mm -hmm. And right now, we can see the game uh, uh, really uh, quickly got into the macro game. And in macro, uh, Black Tiger 1 is uh, uh, winning against the uh, Alvar... What is his name once again? Alvarillo. Alvarillo. Alvarino. Alvarillo, yeah. Alvarillo. Oh, I like these forward chambers. This is an aggressive play from Black Tiger. But I mean, you're, he's already winning at this point, so this is uh, just the finishing blow, the kiss of death, if you will. Right, so uh, I guess the, the Chihuahua and El Lurillo, uh, uh their strategy was to uh, like win at the level 2, the moment the level 2 gets hit, uh, and they... Yeah, it's it's Just, tough. Just uh, qu quickly take them out. Yeah, and, and it's tough because Black Tiger's been so successful using this artillery, but I haven't seen much good melee come out from Chihuahua. He's, he seems to be building a lot of these ranged units, and uh, I, I don't know if that's really been helping him too much. So here's a level 4 melee that he's brought out, which is really good. Uh, I actually also, really like a lot. no electricity cost. Yeah, I love this. Zero elect, have colony. Oh, I guess he isn't really believing into melee, and so his brother just blowed the lap. Yeah, this is all Black Tiger up here. So now the winner of this uh, match is apparent. Yes. Right yeah. now. But, I mean, this is a really good showing. I, you know, I coming from not playing the game at all in the past year and a half or so. Uh, and really knowing the community and knowing the players, I'm really impressed with uh, Chihuahua and Alvarillo in this game because Black Tiger's clear front runner in this entire tournament, uh, realistically, and holding up this this late into the game against them, having a really strong start uh, with with strong macro against the Black Tigers is amazing. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what the uh, next next games bring. But it looks like this right. is this is it. He'll make level five just barely, and then it's gonna be yeah, over. Well, I do love do the spiders. Just Black Tiger One is all spiders in this army, which is which is quite amazing. Um, all right, there's game one. So so what are your thoughts for game two? What does Chihuahua and Avarillo need to do in order to beat the Black Tigers? I guess uh, if they learn from the past mistake. <laughs> Uh, so uh, they like got to focus more on macro, especially Alvarillo, uh, because uh, I guess if if you don't win micro against the Black Tigers, you need to uh, like reassemble your playstyle quickly. Otherwise, you you're just lost. Yeah, I, the, the the Black Tigers were playing a really good macro game there, uh, and. I, I think that you really have to be able to keep up if you're going to play with these old players um, that, that have been around doing it a long time and aren't rusty like I am. So, all right, let's go into this next game. It's on Frozen War. What is 
I don't have this map actually. I can't play this game. <laughs> Let me. I'm gonna have to pause this uh, recording. All right. All right. We're we're started again. I have, I have the map. This is Frozen War in the Jim Helcon map pack. Very excited. Uh, I unfortunately do not have all the decals. I'm not sure where he got these decals from. Uh, but we have these pink question marks that are going to be on the stream. I, I really tried to get rid of these, uh, but unfortunately was unable to. So um, I apologize for that in advance. I do have the Tellurian campaign and the Nibbling Monster map pack, and uh, I downloaded a few other mods just to try it out, but I couldn't figure out which one these decals were in. Um, uh, but anyhow. So let's, let us say that these decals were intended and just proceed with the game. Yes, yeah, let's just pretend they're not there. But, uh, okay, we got Black Tiger 1 here, and I, I just want to take a moment to, to admire this map. I love when new map makers create things, and it's you know it's a real shame that we're not able to uh, see all, how all the decals work. But let's uh, we can start the game, and we can take a look at the map. So it looks like we have Black Tiger 1 down here in yellow. I love the look of the new lab over here. And then Black Tiger 3, who's got Whitey's lab, down here, uh, which has a lot of health, 12,000 health, only compared to 8,000 health of uh, the advanced lab. And then we got Avarillo up here. Uh, and then we got Chihuahua up here. So it looks like the... It's it's cool. I do like how there's a asymmetry with the coal. It looks like the, the smaller labs, you only have four coal piles. And the bigger labs, you have five coal piles. And I really like asymmetric maps, where, where players even get a little bit of asymmetry. Uh, with their starting resources. I think that's really cool. Here you can see who's the boss now. So uh, can we like have a moment to talk about the advanced labs? Because, uh, well, in original Impossible Creatures, the or original lab and advanced lab has the had even amount of HP. But since Tellurian lab has 6,000 and mm -hmm. uh, this one still has 8,000 because they like uh don't use the same uh yep. uh like uh the same file with the, the characteristics yeah 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 so it's 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 uh really cool using these other unique components that we don't see on traditional maps looks like we're getting a little bit of action here in mid uh because it looks like black tiger black tiger one and Alvarillo are gonna be contesting over the central coal pile which is really cool I actually really like this map. We got a cool geyser over here, geyser over here. We got islands. Uh, another geyser Sweet. over this way. I mean, this is a this is a really the beautiful map. Tiger. Uh, the Black Tiger managed to like uh, get his uh, workshop up and running, but uh, the top team has managed to outtake it with the loner, and also they placed the creature chamber down here, and so the Black Tiger is also forced to build a creature chamber, right? on his base so which is a really nice position if you're going to play uh, really offensively yeah this I mean this uh, uh, this loner that Chihuahua has is doing good work and distracting taking Black Tiger 3 off of his coal Black Tiger 3 is getting some coal production over here which is good but uh, not having your lab coal is pretty tough and that Sunbeam Tower took out that loner uh, it's really good play already so far it looks like i mean it looks like the uh, upper team has the lead right now tons of good pack hunter range units coming out very classic these uh, hyena eels fernaditos very very cool of course we got the wolf chameleons and right, so this is not looking good for the black tigers if if this push goes through right now then i feel like i mean Chihuahua and Alvarillo could win right here. With good yeah, micro, so if, like they, if they continue to back this up, these units need to come in right now. Uh, they were thinking, thinking uh, after the last game, uh, well, they uh, when their like early rush didn't succeed, and they thought that they're gonna try again, but n this time they're gonna focus one player to take him out quickly, mm -hmm. uh, so the. Uh, so the rest of the game is going to be just pretty much chill. Yeah, I mean, if they if they can do that, it's going to be extremely successful. But the Black Tigers are notorious for the defense, and we have these camouflage overpopulation. This is the perfect 
uh, defender against a rush because they come out really fast, they're relatively cheap, and they can sneak up on ranged units because of the camouflage. And we don't have any keen sense coming out from this team, uh, from the top team. So this is a good defender. They do need to pull back right now and regroup. Black Tiger 3 and Black Tiger 1 are able to maintain their position for now, but that might not last long. Also, in addition to this, guys, they're pretty bulky. 106 HP plus regeneration. And would, also, they're pretty cheap. I would really like to see Chihuahua take this back expo, or this back uh, geyser. And I would really like to see Alvarillo take this island over here. Because this is, uh, if they don't continue their macro behind their push, then they could fall into the exact same situation as they did last time, where they fall behind in resources to the Black Tigers. Oh, also, the Black Tiger took the geyser uh, right behind his base, uh, didn't he? Uh, let's see. Black like in the corner. This geyser is not oh, taken Oh, he yet. also didn't. Yeah. So it's, but he does have uh, a slightly more resources than Chihuahua does because he does have this middle expo. Right now, this middle one is unclaimed. Four coal piles completely unclaimed by the, the upper team. Also going for a gyrocopter to get this plateau. Uh, up and running. There are also four coal piles and and one geyser. Mm -hmm. So it's just gonna like uh, getting his income uh, oh, like uh, one, one and a half time. Uh, gonna increase it by one and a half times. Yeah. And also it, getting the generator in the middle. Yeah, this is looking really good for the Black Tigers now in terms of resources. And, uh, you know, the Chihuahua and Avarillo are not taking their lead. They have a really strong lead. They have all of these units, but they're sitting idle, not doing anything. The pressure needs to keep up uh, to try to crack this Black Tiger. If, uh, if they are able to come around this flank side over here, they would do a lot of damage to this base, avoiding the sound beam towers. Yeah, as the times goes on, this army has less and less value because uh, the level three has already been researched, and now getting like a couple, like a five artillery units, it's gonna be more than enough to push them back. Yeah, and it looks like we got some flyers from from Black Tiger three that are also uh, ranged. I love these direct ranged flyers, Alvin Cobras. This is amazing. Yeah, but they're very, very expensive for the level three. <laughs> yeah. Now, now we have the engagement. This is, and, uh, yeah, this is good. This is what they needed. These these units, I would have liked to see them come around uh, on the, the left side here, but they, they're still having decent but, engagement, but running against, up against this wall, which is not ideal. Soundbeam tower upgrade now is going to do serious work though against these units. Potentially denied uh, the research, the economic research you get on the level three that gives you like an uh, enormous boost on your income. Big attack over here by Chihuahua we missed, but uh, he was able to take this generator, which is excellent. Uh, but now the Black Tigers flies are going to engage into them. Uh, they, sh they should be taken out pretty quickly by these salamanders. Oh, I yeah, think the flyers should have won. Wasn't really successful. The range, the range do the extra bonus damage against the flyers, and I, I thought they would have would have been a, a good matchup, but it looks like uh, Chihuahua decided to retreat. Oh, but it looks uh, like isn't it's... like the, the bonus damage against the flyers is uh, equal to the bonus damage you get from the high ground because the flyers also get the high ground bonus. Uh, I teasing. don't think fl flyers get the high ground bonus actually. Uh, I think they, I think they get under the high ground bonus, unfortunately. Oh, we need to confirm that. Oh, they, they do. Um, sorry, no, that, that they actually did. We added that in. Sorry, that there's something called the high ground bonus in the code. They don't get that, and it was actually manually added in later. Um, that flyers do get the high ground bonus. So uh, through a different statistic, but for players, the point is <laughs> they do get the high ground bonus. <laughs> But anyway, like flies are themselves are m more fragile, or they are more expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so most of the time, the land uh, range units win against the flies. Yeah. Which which is how it should be. Uh, 
but it looks like he's yeah. not going full into these, even though I think he would do decently well if he spaces out his units. Those artillery can be pretty dangerous. Uh, he just needs to space out his units a little bit more. Uh, slightly better micro would help him uh, go a long way, but it looks like he's actually still doing pretty well. These artillery is not doing a ton of damage. Uh, this melee is uh, going to do a lot, though. Uh, the thing about the artillery flyers, uh, that they need to just basically go right above the units so mm -hmm. they aren't safe uh, against the ranged. No, they're definitely and not. For, therefore, they, they do not counter the the land whatsoever. Ooh, looks like we have another attack. I didn't even see this coming up here. The Wobble Gongs coming in from the top. This is a huge advantage for Black Tiger 1 to have this outpost and have just with a few henchmen built all of these uh, water chambers. As well as these flying units come in. Black Tiger 1 attacking now on multiple fronts. This is going to be a bit harder for Alvarillo to deal with, especially with this wall of uh, genetic amplifiers here to protect Black Tiger's base. Even though Avarillo is looking better, or was looking better, I guess, with uh, resources, he did just lose, did just lose this contested area. Yeah, well, we, we can see now the game is also moving into macro game where black tigers are just basically like a fish in the water. Uh, mm -hmm. So and this is not they're, looking they're good. <laughs> feeling pretty much. <sighs> Chihuahua in his base. All of these henchmen came over and built all of these creature chambers. And these are mostly meat, but uh, they will start to chip away at this lab, especially with the salamander XLs coming out. Uh, this, is, this is not looking good for Chihuahua and his brother. They need to do something right now to, to defend their lab. Al, uh, Alvarillo is not looking good over here. And instead of defending his lab, he's deciding to actually go for a forward push, it looks like. Uh, I, I really do think the better move, though, would be to defend his lab in this scenario. Maybe he doesn't well, even notice his uh, lab is under attack. Uh, well, most of his army was, like, in the uh, in this uh, middle area for, like, uh, two, three minutes. Yeah. So, uh, and, like, in front of him, there was a black tiger's base and so if, if you engage like a uh, three minutes earlier oh, it could have been more successful but right now his teammate has died and he also uh need to blow up lab uh soon because uh his army is well pretty much dead at this point mm -hmm. there really isn't anything they can do and his lab is on the half hp uh yeah, the lab defense didn't go off, but the income difference, the army difference is so apparent, so uh, the game is pretty much over at this point. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, this is... Uh, looks like it's going to be a, a game for the Black Tigers. It was really well fought. I mean, this, this actually it looks like um, the early game is very, very strong for Chihuahua and Avarillo. But as the game extends later on, then the Black Tigers uh, just seem to have the advantage. I think that if um, you know if if the top team had pushed a little bit harder at the beginning, been a tiny bit more aggressive, and been able to take out Black Tiger One, this would have been a completely different story. Uh, or if they would have been able to keep their ma keep their macro game up, but you know it's really hard against these players, and especially on a map like this. I mean, this is a really well designed map. It's the type of map that I I would like to. Uh, design just because it does have so many different fronts and areas that you can uh, attack on. So I'm really excited to see this featured in a tournament. Also, it's like uh, made for like the ground units, but at the same time not for ground units because uh, like the only uh, the only way to your enemy is like a little choke uh, in the middle. And mm -hmm. I don't know about the left one. Is it also? Uh, I guess it. It seems to be impassable for the land units. Uh, so, if if you didn't take your amphibious, uh, you're pretty much screwed. But it looks like it really looks like a land-based map. Yeah, I mean, it, but you have these islands. You really need the water. Whenever I see islands with expos on them, you have to have water units to be able to take those. Um, but yeah, I mean, amazing map, amazing game, great play by by both players. This is an amazing series. I mean, uh, just coming off of me and. Uh, my games with Yagami, 
uh, and Jim, I, I feel like our games are not nearly as entertaining as this one, this, this set has been. So, uh, congratulations to both players. We're going to see the Black Tigers uh, get one point and kind of advance to the next phase. Uh, but that does not mean that Chihuahua and his brother are out. They're still in it. Uh, we're doing a Swiss-style bracket, so a little harder to describe just via uh, you know, me talking right here. But um, we'll maybe show a graphic coming up in some of the next next games so people can see an update of where everyone is in the tournament. But um, yeah, that's all I had for now. Marmalade, any final thoughts? Uh, I don't have any thoughts uh, right now, but I want to... Thank everyone for watching and see you in the next video. Yeah, see you guys next time. Take care.